Hey everyone, thank you for clicking on this video. My friend Julie and I spent five awesome days in Austin, Texas for a work conference. We explored the city trying out amazing food, discovered cool spots, and even squeezed in a day trip to San Antonio to see the world's largest cowboy boots. Join us today as we relive the deliciousness, the weirdness, and of course, all the fun Austin has to offer. Our adventure began as we checked into the Moxie University Hotel. Its lobby is charming, it's located right in the heart of Austin, making it super convenient for exploring downtown, the University of Texas, and the vibrant nightlife. The rooms are a little bit on the tiny side, but they're spotless and modern. Plus, they've got an on-site taco stand, and the food is pretty good, and they welcome you with a drink. We only had a couple of days to visit, so we wasted no time in exploring the city. We hopped on a bus and rode around to check out the neighborhoods and find something delicious to eat. Here's a pro tip, a single bus ride costs $1.25, but for just $2.50 you can grab a day pass that lasts the full 24 hours, giving you unlimited rides. Our hungry stomachs led us to Velvet Taco on Congress in 6th, where we had some of the best tacos ever. Just to give you an idea, the brisket is slow roasted for 18 hours, marinated for 8, then shredded by hand or cooked with a secret blend of 11 herbs and spices. The marinade has 21 ingredients, they're so flavorful. We craved them all week and we still talk about them to this day. The next day was a cold and rainy day, but that didn't stop us. We began to explore with a visit to the Texas State Capitol. This is the largest state capitol building in the United States and serves as the seat of Texas government. It has stunning architecture, historic significance, so it's a must-visit attraction in Austin. Next, we took the bus to South Congress and our first stop was the famous Austin Mural. Located on South 1st Street, it has vibrant colors and bold letters and it's such a popular spot we couldn't miss it. Right next door is a cute French bakery called La Pâtisserie. Try their macarons, they're delicious and the owner is such a lovely lady. Honey? Yeah. A miel? Yeah. <laughs> We then walked down a few blocks to South Congress and explored the many local shops from cowboy boots boutiques, candy stores and souvenir stores and we strolled along the streets made sure to capture memories in each and every mural we encountered. At Heritage the boots are amazingly beautiful but you cannot touch anything without assistance from a sales associate.
We also checked out Allen's Boots even though it was our second store because of how famous it is, the cheaper prices and its endless assortments. If you're enjoying this video, please do these three things. Click on the like button, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment down below. It really makes a big difference. We had to stop at Joe's Coffee because people have been raving about it online and we wanted to know what that was all about. We reached the famous Austin Motel that's been in the heart of South Congress since 1938 and is known for its funky decor and iconic neon sign. At this point we were famished, so we called an Uber to drive us to Cooper's Old Time Pit Barbecue. We passed by the famous Tau Ceti mural and I was so happy it was right next door, so we decided to walk there after our food. Cooper's was fantastic. We went for brisket, ribs, and sausage. The sides were amazing. Best cornbread ever. The brisket just melted in your mouth and the mac and cheese with bacon and jalapenos was a great side dish. We also tried their peach cobbler. Well worth it. We then walked a block to the Tau Ceti mural at the corner of Razzles and 2nd Street. This is Austin's tallest public artwork. It was created by artist Joseph Cristofoletti in 2018 and it's titled Tau Ceti after a star in the constellation Cetus. It's 103 feet high or 10 floors up. The way it was painted in an inverted corner gives it a unique dizzying effect when you view it up close. Absolutely spectacular. Go see it if you're in Austin. We then walked half a mile to the Austin Public Library. One but you, he hold my heart. The building itself is a work of art. It's spectacular with lots of light, beautiful colored glass windows that shine through the building. It has a rooftop garden and a fantastic view of the city of Austin. It's a place you shouldn't miss. The next day I spent a few hours at the Blanton Museum of Art. It's one of the largest university art museums in the US. 
founded in 1963, and the Blanton's permanent collection contains almost 18,000 works. Visitors get free admission every Tuesday. I'm like a young, young child. Oh, it's silly how time just flies when we play in a you hide. Monsoon rain You had a show Like a lightning bolt You had it all And there's no one But you No one There's no one But you No one that night, my friend was invited to the Terry Black's barbecue. I wasn't able to attend, but here's her footage. Time it's about 140, 45 in here, so quite rendering ourselves. Oh my god! Definitely a very fun place to work. <laughs> that evening I finally got to try in and out burger that we don't have in Canada. My kids were super jealous and it was really tasty. On our last day, we decided to Uber to San Antonio for a day trip, which is about 80 miles or one and a half hour drive. Our first stop, admiring the world's largest cowboy boots. Our Uber driver couldn't believe that we drove all that way just to see cowboy boots. <laughs> we stopped at Bill Miller Barbecue for a quick lunch before heading to visit the Alamo, for which reservations are necessary, but the visit is free of charge. Visiting the Alamo gave us a glimpse into the state's history with its status as a symbol of Texas independence. The employees on site were very knowledgeable, they helped us and answered all our questions. After visiting the Alamo, we headed to the famous River Walk in San Antonio. On our way, we saw the Antorcha de la Amistad, which means Torch of Friendship, a significant landmark in downtown San Antonio. It was a gift from the Mexican government to the city in 2002, and it symbolizes the strong bond and friendship between Mexico and the United States. The torch has a height of 65 feet and is made of stainless steel and glass. There we hopped aboard a river cruise with Go Rio to experience the beauty of the city from a different perspective. Gliding along the tranquil waters, we were treated to stunning views of the riverside architecture and despite the cold and rainy weather, it was very enjoyable. It 
It was time to head back to our hotel and pack our bags for the airport in the morning. We bought a Flix bus ticket online and made our way to the bus terminal. Back in Austin, can you guess what we ordered for our last meal? Yes, you guessed it! We had to have another batch of those delicious tacos from Velvet Taco. Thanks for watching this video and I hope you enjoyed our adventure in the beautiful city of Austin.